Welcome everybody, Envy here with another Eldering Ring video. As I said before in the last episode, I was going to be in here on this map. So we're going to continue on with the White Mask um, quest. So we're going to show you how to do that. So, first of all, when you talk to him here in the front of the church, like right in the beginning of the game, it should be here. When you talk to him, he will tell you that you're maidenless and all that. So after you defeat, I believe the boss here and Godric, yeah, you defeat Godric, you go back and talk to him, and he's gonna tell you go meet the people at the uh, round table, the the Elden maidens, I believe they're called. So once you talk to them, you go back to this area, and there should be a white message saying that he's gonna move on to Lernian Lir Lake. So you fight them here in the church, and once you talk to him, he gives you these five red fingers. And you use those red fingers, you just need to invade three worlds, you don't have to kill them or you could just die however you like or disconnect. Uh, as long as you do it three times, you should be able to continue his quest. So I already did that off camera, so just to let you know. So we continue on. On the last episode, I we ended up upgrading my our weapon and we ended up getting the golden seed that I believe Rod Roderica. Uh, left behind, so that was on the last episode. So on this one, we're continuing from here. And doing his quest line actually takes you to uh, Marwin Palace. So basically, one of the best um, rune farmers area. You could do this right after Godric. So I just post postponed it until now. So he gave us this cloth, and we need to soak it with a maiden's blood. So that means we need to go at least to this church. It's either this church, or you could actually go to the to here, and then use the one of the stone, one of the the stone sword keys, the imbued one, to go into one of the towers. I'll show you later on, probably in the game, uh, and it will teleport you back to the beginning of the game, which is here in this area. And then if you go back to the beginning of the area, there should be a maiden there, and you go. You talk to her and you soak the blood from her blood, and that's pretty much cons could continue the quest. But there's an alternative uh, way, which is here, and that's where the one we're gonna go to. So since we already got these uh, bonfires, I mean graces, we're able to circle around the back. And we need to circle around the back to get up here, this way, and then go through the city and then go this way. And once you reach to the church, you're gonna get invaded. So just be prepared for that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the alternative method. The other way is easier, but I'm gonna save that imbued um, stone ski for later on. Okay, now that we're here, let's just continue forward. I suggest uh, going to the far right because there's going to be catapults shooting at you and they do quite a lot of damage. You see? They're already shooting at me. Let's back up a little more. Let's go up here. Just continue to keep going to the right. And then from here we can actually go to the right and up there. But let's go this way first so we go I'll get one of the bonfires. One of the graces I mean. You know you know what you guys what I mean. This is one of the graces here. And up there is basically the next area we need to actually go. So it's gonna take us up this way. And since we got both medallions, we could teleport up there. 
well, the escalator is gonna, nah, it's, the elevator is gonna take us up there. But we're not gonna do that yet. We're just, we're still gonna be doing a couple things here in the Urnia, completing a little bit more of the Urnia. Be careful with that church, because uh, the longer you stay in the vision of the of that flame, it builds up the mana status, and what that status does is it basically whatever HP you have it cuts it in half. So just try to avoid being on the inside of that, as you can see. That's the status effect mana. Continue on forward. So this here is like a village. A village of few people that are madness. Shivery wood. Let's get another item here. Surely passed it. Should I want to go up there? And then we're gonna get invaded. So just be prepared for the invader. This invader is a, a little hard. Is um little magic. You could actually, like, you could actually come up here and just rest on the bonfire. Not rest on it, but just light it up. Let's get the items. There you go. That's a little claw. So now let's try to defeat him. No. Well, that's the first death. Since we lit up the bonfire, we should be able to spawn here. We could try defeating him there now. Souls back. 
Looks like there'll be this. Let's see if he respawns. There you go. Come on, come at me. This is so much. Yes, down he goes. Bikes war spear. So since we got that, we got the bonfire. So now we could actually go back to the white mask, just here. And that should pretty much be it. Once we get the red claw, he gives us this medallion, and we can actually go to Marwin's castle. Marwin's palace. We also got a cigarette here, so we could actually upgrade our our flask even further. We'll talk to him, give him the bloody. We'll give him the fl the bloody uh, maiden cloth. And now we're gonna give him his finger, our fingers I mean, he's gonna snap them off. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. Just keep in mind that Mawin Palace is like end game area. So all the enemies there are gonna be pretty tough. For it is what <laughs> you have. Oh, I met with the power I've garnered, but you mustn't. The meeting of luminary we must. And with that medallion, he told us not to use it, but you know, you know us. We just go ahead and use it. So go ahead, pure blood knight's battle. Go ahead and use it, and it's gonna take us right towards Mawin Palace. straight ahead that way we could get the map of it got the map and as you can see we're on the ground I'm not sure if you remember in the one of the first episodes we are in town into the mausoleum that's there so this kind of like connects with Mawin Palace but don't worry we're gonna do that later on so we're gonna light up this bonfire and up there is basically we continue on, but we actually want to go back, backtrack. No matter what you do, just uh, run through these areas. Don't wait, don't grab items. We're pretty much gonna get one shot in here. Just 
just just continue going like the way I'm going. And before you know it, it should be near Here's the bonfire. And here's the infamous place. If you have the last let me rest so the enemies won't aggro on me. If you actually have the last boss's um, weapon, you can actually farm these guys here. Any weapon that has a big AoE, you can actually farm these guys there. And then if you have a bow, you can actually farm that big bird. And the bird will give you about 12k XP, like, like 12k ruins. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get to Mawin Palace early game. And if you want to get there legit way, there's like a little teleporter up there. And it's almost like end game area where you come at, from up there. And you just come out and then you come down the cliff and then you, this is the first bonfire you come across. That's the legit way to come. But that's like, oh, I'll show you what teleporter takes you to Mawin Palace. But yeah, that's pretty much an end game area. Um, I'll probably show later on in a video how to farm ruins. That's basically the best farm area. I'll show you ways to do it without using uh, the last boss weapon. You could use a bow for that one. And then there's another one where you could jump off a cliff and then just swing away uh, endlessly until you get the ruins. But that's for another video. So I just wanted to show how to get to Mawin Palace. So without further ado, let's continue. We'll probably go up to Atlas Patel. We're just gonna touch the. We're just gonna go up there, and then we're gonna get the first bonfire. Atlas Plateau is actually the next main area we're gonna go. It's like the third main area. So there was Limgrave. It's one big area. Uh, Kalitz, one another big area, but that's still like the fourth area we need to we needed to explore. And then second is Leonia, and Atlas Plateau is third. So that's where we're headed now. So Atlas Patrol. We still have a couple caves, catacombs here and there for the Urnia. I'm just gonna try to get a, a rune weapon. My rune sword if possible. So if you have both medallions, which you got from one from the Caleb area where we got this uh, the, I believe the legendary talisman. I got one medallion there. And the other one I got it from from defeating the one night. Uh, I'll show in the map for now. So one medallion should be here for Faroth. That's one medallion, and the second medallion should be here for Hydrest. If you could remember, this guy right here, his quest was to go over here. And once we defeated that guy, he gave the. Once you explore more up, up above, you get the medallion. So that's one medallion, and then this one is almost straightforward right away. And that's the second medallion. That's like the other half. And then the third medallion we got from this guy up here, behind the jar, this guy, all the almost. That's for end game area, so that's gonna be all the way up here somewhere. But that's end game, so I'll show you later on. But yeah, once we get those two halves of the medallion, let's continue forward. This should be a bonfire of, uh, not bonfire, but grace up this way. So one of the graces. And... You know what, we're just gonna continue forward. That way we could get a golden seed right away. Can't remember if it was this way or the other way.
There it is. Golden Sea. Just gonna go down this way. There should be another grace here. Let's level up our flasks. Hopefully Kaylin opens up. I can't remember how we get that teleporter. Teleporters up. So now that we, I believe we touch Atlas Plateau, which is up here, this teleporter opened up, and that teleporter is gonna take us in there. We could have just rushed in there and then circle around the castle and go around the back, but it's through a lot of enemies, so I would prefer just to teleport in there like this. And that will take me like near the boss already. Hopefully I'm um, strong enough to defeat the bosses. And once you defeat the boss, you get the rune greatsword. And that's the sword I'm uh, mainly use throughout this whole gameplay. the boss area up ahead. Whoop, wish me luck. This will be a crucible night and I forget the other guy. Whoop, I guess not. Hmm, I must admit, bud, he must have heard my good start and once he's up so now, the way ahead is teleport back or am I gonna have to fight the boss now? I guess not. I guess let's do a Radon first.
forget what to do, to be honest. I talk to this guy. To like open the door for me. Are you good in the festival? Before we begin, allow me to. But now. to fight Rada Rata Therefore hopefully we're able to take them down It looks pretty funny because he's on a horse. It looks pretty crazy because he's uh, fighting all of us at once. He's another demigod. A lot of people are dying. a little Woo. my last flask damage and yeah that's Radan 
It looks like he's like gliding because of this tiny horse. <laughs> I believe that's going to be it for this video as well. So, just waiting for the screen to load. Now I can save my outro. Well, like always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. You're always welcome to leave a comment. I love reading them. And this is Envy signing out. See you in the next video. But Dan's going down on the next one. Bye bye.